Congratulations. Your kid not only graduated, but got accepted into college. That's great news and the result of a lot of hard work from your whole family. And in the back of your head, like most parents sending their kids out into the world alone for their first time, you're a little bit worried. You can't be there to protect them in person, but you can do everything possible to prepare them for this first foray into the larger, sometimes scarier world. In the time I've spent advising and coaching parents about this, I've found five websites and apps you can put to work this summer so you and your graduate have the tools you need to help them stay safe. Thank you for watching Save Us Family on the Block series on college campus safety. The purpose of this series is to keep students safer and parents less worried with easy to follow advice based on field testing and expert knowledge. If you like what you see here today, give us a like and a subscribe to help us create more series like this. And if you love it, share it with somebody you love and consider backing us on Patreon for early access and other exclusive perks. Now, on with the show. Starting out with number five, CampusSafety.com would have been a magazine last century, but today it's a consistently updating, well-researched, low on commercials and politics website where you can read up on trends, news, and facts important to people who work in the campus safety industry. It will put you in the know on the newest safety risks and concerns ranging from crime rates, new considerations, drug trends, even weather emergencies and civil unrest. The drawback is it rarely covers specific campuses. You won't get information on your graduate school of choice, much less a comparison to other schools. Number four, Waze, spelled W-A-Z-E. If you haven't heard of Waze yet, you might end up converting on general principle. It works like Google Maps for car navigation, but includes a crowdsourced event function. In real time, users put information in about traffic slowdowns, accidents, even speed traps and other police actions. It's crowdsourced traffic information and safety data coming to your phone. It's the most popular navigation app in countries outside of North America, but still sees plenty of use in the US and Canada. You can use it to scout the traffic, driving, and pedestrian situation for your grad's campus, their town, and the route from campus to home, whether that's a drive on the freeway or just to and from the airport. Waze is free to use and pays for itself with data and sales and ad support, which is of course the disadvantage of using Waze. But hey, that's, that's the drawback of almost everything we use online and on our phones these days. Number three, Google Maps and Google Earth. You know this one. You've used it for everything from planning a road trip to virtually cruising the pyramids, helping with a geography report, or checking on the homes of the people you know and like. But you can also use it to scout out campus and the surrounding neighborhoods. Just zoom in on maps, then shift over to street view to look around. The thing is, you have decades of experience looking at neighborhoods and consciously and unconsciously assessing how safe they are. You've been doing this your entire adult life, and the chances are excellent you're pretty good at it. Your kid has also had their entire adult life to do this, but for them, that period's measured in days, maybe weeks. You can't go explore those streets and alleys with your kid, but you can give them a virtual look and make some preliminary assessments, which you can then share with them. Take it an extra step by researching which neighborhoods tend to be popular among students or are in between campus and popular night spots. You can do all of this for free. The biggest drawback is that street view is almost always a daytime photo. I don't have to tell you how different neighborhoods can become during the night. Number two, Safe Explore. This is a risk assessment app that compares safety factors in a destination to the same safety factors where you live. It's intended for travelers, and its parent company is a favorite among professional bodyguards worldwide, but you can use its information to get a good rating of how safe a college campus is or isn't. It doesn't just check violent crime, but also health and accident concerns and issues for specific populations like, like LGBTQ plus travelers slash students or people with uncommon medical needs. Using Safe Explorer is free. It has an upgraded version that increases the number of searches you can do per day, but you're unlikely to need that un unless you had triplets. The biggest drawback is they don't yet have information that drills down to the neighborhood level. You'll get a good sense of how safe the host city is, but not of campus versus the town overall. Before moving on to number one, here are two honorable mentions. Google Clary Act, C-L-E-R-Y Act, with the name of the college. The Clary Act requires all college campuses to publish an annual report of crime and safety so parents like you can read them and create accountability for student safety. Googling Clary Act name of college is the easiest way to find that page on the college website. You can usually go back several years and get a solid sense of a school's safety situation and whether it's getting better or worse. 
It's only honorable mention because it's not really an app or a website, more of a search technique. ZeroSafe is an upcoming safety app that allows location tracking, messaging, safety alerts, panic buttons, and all the trappings of most safety apps. But it adds to that a reporting feature that, upon hearing a code word, activates the camera and records everything until told to stop. That recording goes automatically to the cloud, so it survives even if the camera is taken or damaged. This has potential to be game-changing, but remains in development as of this recording. Now, before we get to number one, please do help out and hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you think I've missed something, leave a comment. And if you love content like this, share it around and spread the word. I really appreciate the support. Alrighty then. Number one, Tactics On. Tactics On got its start when the chief of ICP, a major bodyguard company with clients worldwide, decided the existing apps weren't up to the job of protecting his team. So he built one from scratch. It worked so well, he made a civilian version for families. This app has location tracking, messaging, panic button, and all the other features you want in a safety app, plus a book's worth of safety tips that keeps getting updated. It's a solid tool tested in much more dangerous situations than the worst college campus. The biggest drawback is whether or not the young adult you're sending to college is willing to keep you apprised of their location at all time. And that's fair. But if they're not, you might be able to convince them to set up a group with their friends on campus so they know each other's locations, especially at parties, studying late, or coming home from work at night. Tactics On costs a low one-time fee for lifetime usage. That's three British pounds, which works out to be about five bucks most of the time. Be sure to get the personal version. They have much more expensive business options, but you don't need those. So there you have it, five websites and apps you can use to help your grads stay safe when they go off to college. For more college safety tips for new graduates, check out the videos here to the right, and don't forget to like and subscribe. The liking helps us bring you more content like this. The subscribe helps you not miss it when it comes. Stay safe, everyone. See you next time.